Well, Farid is now joining us on the phone line for more details. Farid, now in this particular encounter, one of uh, the Lashkar-e Toiba's A++ militants has been categorized by security forces. Ishad was killed. Well, yes, sir. This encounter uh, basically happened on uh, the 11th and the 12th uh, in the Rasulpura area. These are exclusive ground zero visuals that Sam now has accessed. Uh, basically, encounter caught on tape and uh, clearly it tells you about uh, the intensity of the gunfire that was exchanged. These are two uh, lashkar e militants who uh, were trapped for almost 24 hours. They slipped from one of the built-up areas into the paddy fields and from there they gave a very tough fight uh, to the security forces. They kept them engaging. Uh, they were very heavily armed uh, for almost uh, six to seven hours, non-stop, relentless exchange of fire. And finally, these are the this is the, these are the visuals of the final assault that the security forces launched. Exclusive visuals that really tell you uh, the, about the high intensity of the gunfire that was exchanged, also about the fact that one wrong move in such a situation could be the uh, basically the difference between life and death. So uh, clearly, visuals uh, that tell you how these encounter situations uh, really uh, mm. arise and how difficult such operations are. Now, uh, here it was a joint operation of uh, the RPF, uh, 183 Battalion uh, uh, Police, SOG and Army, of course, 55 Rush Rifles. They continued with the operation and almost for 24 hours were locked in fierce gun battle. The militants, as they said, slipped from the built-up area uh, using darkness as their advantage. They got into the paddy fields where uh, they swiftly kept changing their positions. They're very highly motivated, trained and armed. And uh, finally, it took some area surveillance for the security forces to pinpoint their location. And uh, after more than 24 hours, their resistance ended. And these are exclusive visuals of ground zero. Uh, intense gunfire being exchanged and uh, finally uh, both these Malachkar militants were killed. As you're pointing out, uh, uh, Shari, uh, the, you know, the visuals that we are playing on our screen right now are of the final assault really. It is a six minute long final assault that actually led to the killing of these two terrorists uh, by the armed forces. But uh, it was an encounter, Fareed, that went on for more than 24 hours. Absolutely. Uh, for 24 hours, uh, initially it was the militants who attacked an army patrol of 55 Russian rifles in Ratnipura and then uh, immediately uh, counter assault was launched. Uh, the area was cordoned off. Uh, CRPF police came in. Uh, they cordoned off the area. The militants uh, then were trapped in a built-up area and village uh, in a house. Uh, they fired from there, engaged the security forces, and then as the night descended, there was darkness. Uh, these militants slipped out of the built-up area, and as you could be seeing in the visuals, they uh, took positions inside a paddy field. The grass was very high, so they, that basically gave them cover. From there, they engaged the security forces. Uh, in, the, in this encounter, one uh, policeman of the SOG was also critically injured. Uh, they engaged the security forces for several hours. Uh, in between, there was lull in for firing, but yes, you're absolutely right. The visuals of the final assault uh, and in fact, intense gunfire unleashed on the militants. They also fired back intermittently. But finally, uh, they, after this assault, their resistance ended, and both these Lashkar militants, who were, of course, locals, uh, were killed. Uh, uh, 2AK 47 rifles ammunition was also recovered from the spot, and in fact, uh, uh, these, they, these are the kind of operations that basically happen in South Kashmir. This gives you a sense of uh, what really happened on that particular moment from on ground zero where these militants were engaged with the security forces, how basically the security forces uh, took cover and then 
slowly proceeded with the operation. But yes, final assault was intense, a heavy exchange hmm. of fire exchange. Right. And uh, uh, finally, the luck of the militants ran out. As you're pointing out, Fareed, right it there. also gives uh, our viewers a peek into how these encounters uh, pan out. This was one that lasted for, lasted for about 24 hours. For the moment, Fareed, thank you.